In many ways, you could say that COVID-19 is accelerating the virtualization of the world, the ushering in of an entirely new age. I mean, think about it. This time last year, radiologists were complaining that AI possibly meant the end of their jobs. Now you're seeing radiologists using AI and massive databases of uh, digital CT scans of infected patients to try and train systems to spot coronavirus in scans, something that the naked human eye couldn't do reliably before. So in many ways, this crisis is doing what many CEOs or CTOs or CIOs struggled to do in the past, which is accelerate the push towards a dramatic digital transformation. And if you think about it, there's always been an interesting relationship between crisis and change, between automation and the reinvention and transformation of work. If you look back on the history of crises and collapses, there's always been profound changes afterwards to the way we work and the way we design our businesses. I mean, even just back to 2008. During the financial crash, many people lost their jobs. But interestingly, when the economy started to recover, a lot of those jobs didn't come back. People who'd lost those positions found that those positions were now being done by software, technology, and automation. And this is the great risk in the current crisis we're going through today, because there will be a similar push to use technology and automation to fill the gap. So the only way for us to really survive as human beings in the workforce is going to be to upgrade our skills, to adapt and to evolve. When you really look at it, job obsolescence isn't as dangerous as when companies go bankrupt, factories stop, farms are emptied out. And this is exactly the scenario we face now where governments are ordering organizations to shut down because of the risk of the spread of disease. What if we could better leverage automation and robots to keep the factories running, to keep the supply chains moving, to keep the stores open? And human beings, if they can't actually physically work together, could then work remotely using digital twins. When you see it from this perspective, you see that automation isn't the enemy. It is the future of how we need to think about work.